Christoph Sauser and I'm racing and riding the uh, Specialized Epic since 2006. Cross country racing evolved so much over, over the past years. The courses used to be more natural and now you have crazy rock gardens. I often also compare a cross country race versus a marathon race, Formula One versus a good street racing car. You also want to have uh, a bit of comfort. And I see that with the Epic and the Epic Evo. We've been asking the engineers to make the very, very best bicycle. On the fork, we have two centimeter more travel. I'm a little bit higher up all the time, so I don't have the feeling I'm soon going, going on the handlebar. More safety means I am faster. The wider handlebar raised from 720 to 750 and it's actually amazing what three centimeters does. I have more control, I have more leverage to pull that, that wider handlebar. The brain is exactly the same from the Epic to the new Epic Evo. Once the brain system is set up, there's no brainstorming anymore. You go out and ride and uh, the suspension does all the thinking for you. Tire size matter, but almost more matter that the tire is very, very supple. We really have that smoothness in the tire. It's like a second suspension on the bicycle. Uh, front we have the ground control, Gripton. You have more weight on the rear tire, so the chance of flatting is bigger. That's why we added the grip in the rear. And last but not least, the command post. It's incredible what difference that makes for me in the downhill, especially in cornering. I have a low, lower center of gravity. It's also easy to take the foot out, I have more control, I'm safer, and the result, I am faster. The Epic got even more versatile. It has the climbing chassis of the most decorated racing bike in the whole world. But to the Evo setup, I have more control, I have more comfort. It's versatility to its perfection. <laughs>